Hello and welcome everyone, La Hutt here with part 10 of the Rise of the Republic Rome campaign. For Total War Rome 2, we continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, it's all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. Also, as this is part 10, this of course means it's an hour special, so sit back, relax and enjoy an hour of Roman action. So continuing from where we left things last time, I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to move Spurious away to support Camillus or leave him close by the Umbri to support them. I think, I think for now the the Umbria probably got it with a with a full stack here. So I'm gonna move Spurious away to support Camilla so that we can move on Arminium as soon as possible. So I'm gonna move Camillus up into the forest. Yeah, there we go. 55% chance of ambush. Yeah, let's do that. Pop into ambush stance and then can we force march you guys to center? Yeah, there we go. Lovely. So yeah, we're going to keep pushing north for now. Got my spy deployed over there. It's all good. Uh, speaking of the north, I'm not going to try and hold on to this territory because I just think it would be a sinkhole of time, money, and resources. And even if we uh, untax the province, it's still going to rebel in three turns, which is before I can convert this settlement over to give us a garrison. I know I could tear it down a level, I think, and then convert it over, but it would still take two, two turns then after we've torn it down this turn, so it'll still be three turns total, so we can't get a garrison in there. We could throw a general in, but I guess all we could probably recruit, if we can if we can even recruit anything at this point, would be Italian levies or something like that. So I just don't think it's worth it. So we'll probably destroy the buildings. I don't, we don't get any money from doing that, so we'll probably just leave things as they are for now, to be perfectly honest. Um... Other than that, we want to build up our force at Rome so that either we can commit it to the north to help out with conquest over here, or if things do kick off in the south, then we can, we've can we got an army to respond to that. So for now, what I'm going to do is another eques. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for three more, so we've got two on each flank. Another Ensess uh, Centurie, and I'm going to go for one more Ascensi, one more Slinger unit. Uh, and some of you have been saying, why are you going for slingers over over javelins? And it's basically because of the range. That, that's that, that's literally it. Uh, essentially, slingers have 150 range, whereas javelins, levies, they have a range of 80. And I'm primarily using my slingers to deal with their uh, the enemy's missile troops uh, rather than you know take down uh, enemy infantry. Although once the enemy skirmishes are dealt with, I can then flank on around with my slingers and still do some damage. Plus, obviously, slingers do have a lot more ammunition. They've got 25 ammunition to seven ammunition that uh, the levies, etc., have, and what have you. So yeah, I'm I'm not really looking to do the you know high damage that levies will do to individual uh, enemy units. I'm just looking to use the slingers to wipe out the enemy skirmishers. Do that, I think, as well. I'm trying to see. No, wait. I think it's objectives. We need four trade uh, factions with trade. We've already got the Centurier, and we need seven provinces. But I think we'll be able to do that pretty soon. So, why am I going up? Oh, yeah, no, I do want to go up here because I want to work out who I can get trade with. How much? In fact, yeah, let's fa let's do it by. Trade value. Does it sort by trade value? Okay, well, we can see who we can trade with. Syracuse, that's really good. 400 odd. Welcome. I throw open the doors to you and bid you enjoy our talks. Can I just offer you all the money that I currently have? No. What if I do that and non aggressor? That will probably make them like me. But it's probably safer doing that than a diplomat. But let's try sending a. A diplomat off first. Try sending you. Please don't screw this up for me. Right, let's end the turn and see what state we find ourselves in next turn. So the other armies come back for for the Senones. And Tani got their war in the south going on with. Taurus, I think. Ligures doing their own thing. The boy gathering their forces. Political intrigue. A diplomat has returned accompanied by a famous bard. Increase public order in all your provinces. Huzzah. That's good. Increase in rank for my patrician. Or the one in my army. And right in the capital, we've got the resolution of that event. All other parties are impressed by your display of power. Lovely. 
So, you, sir. Replenishment and all that. We're going to go for upkeep cost for all units. Yep, thank you. Line of sight. Unhappy populace. Okay. Alliance Forge. Samnites and Tani. Okay, so that that does sort of limit what we can do. In, well, if we go to war with the south, we're going to war with pretty much most of the south. They're actually getting friendlier. Could probably see if we could get trade with them. As always, a welcoming host to you. I await your words. I mean, I'm not planning on going to war with the south for a while. I'd quite happy just to unite the north. So, yeah, Sub screw it. Let's do it. And how does Syracuse feel about us right now? Minus two. I am honored to receive this embassy, and will listen with interest to all you have to say. Okay, well, let's try and secure that non-aggression now. No. I'll offer you a maximum Last of night, thousand. The earth shook as the gods moved. We will not agree. A trireme must have but one steersman. We must. Okay, so I need to send another diplomat, Dark basically. Dark clouds move across the sun when you speak, my friend. I cannot accept your proposal. You did good last time. Don't screw it up the second time. Do good. Yeah, they're very happy with me right now. Well, it's eight. It's just the happiest they've probably been for a while. Uh, building happiness, events. The, yeah, we're, Regions are sorted right now. You guys are a little bit unhappy, but that's because there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, and that's something as well. After we're done with this technology, although a cultural conversion like that is useful, um, someone was saying, I totally forget who it was, but massive shout out to the commenter that did give me the heads up about this. The Spoils of War technology. Plus 3,500 income per turn from items and subjects acquired through warfare. And Yar, plus 20% booty from battle. Yar. Uh, I didn't know Captain Barbosa was back for this one. Yar, we named the Monkey Jack. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got to go through these technologies first. So in 20 turns total, we are to get 3,500 income per turn. So wait one more turn, then begin that, definitely. Then we'll go through more civic researches and stuff. Can I reach that army? Oh, just out of range. Can I move a bit closer? Ready for ambush. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep sneaking up and then try and hit you. The thing is, we don't have night battles enabled for Camillus, because I think it's a separate ability. So we would pull the garrison and that army out, which is now an 18 stack. Against chance success, yeah. Keep boosting that. Can we do? Sabotage supplies, movement ranged. Movement range of it. Yeah, let's try it. Noise. So how much is their movement range being reduced? Minus 62%. Okay, we might be able to catch it. Good. Um, Spurious is still replenishing, and I'm actually going to recruit... Oh, I was, gonna go for a, I was hoping there would be a slinger about. There is not. Um, Jupiter, yeah, do that for now. Fortify up there. Umbri have moved in against the Gures, and they've done all right there. Okay. That's all fine for now. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Public order is fine over here. Let's hope that diplomat does me proud again. How are things looking over here? Minus 24. Yep, that's to be expected. Right. In turn. I don't I don't really like that as a mechanic that they've got another army coming up, bloody hell. I don't really like that as a mechanic that the diplomat can come back with a whole settlement from another faction. I kind of, in a way, feel that might just be a nod from CA to kind of sort of be a halfway attempt at sort of pacifying uh, players that desperately want region trading added back in as a feature to, you know, all Total War games that don't have that. Um, I'm kind of like, eh. I'd much, I'd much prefer to see a full region trading mechanic added in rather than just randomly you can come away with the whole city that just seems a bit op and a child is born to lucius furious aquila who the hell is that oh what's this family annals spurious furious medulinus or medulinus minus 25 senators uh oh give an exotic eastern trader they were served type of wine which was apparently enchanting now Arkin refuses to drink any other type of liquid. 
Oh, great. So they're just very annoying. Well, that is this guy. Oh, no, sorry. That's who we had. That's the kid's name. Lucius Furious Aquila. Lovely. Why are you not an a Camillus? Why are you an Aquila? Do they choose new names all the time? But anyway, the line is secure. The dynasty is secured. Huzzah! So yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to kill off Spurious. I know some of you desperately want to see Camillus become the family leader as well. And I know one, two of you from last episode when I said the same thing were like, well, you dealt with him. You, you made him your family leader because apparently otherwise later on in the campaign there was a chance for Camillus to break away and start his own faction. Um, I'm hoping that won't happen, but if it does, hey-ho, we'll, we'll roll with it. But yeah, I'm wondering now if we should maybe make Camilla, rather than making Camillus our heir, we should change it to uh, Spurious so that it goes naturally down this way. I wonder if that might be a better shout. Um, in fact, we should send you off on a, on a mission for us, shouldn't we? I should actually give you the... Oh, you're 20 years old and then you can do that. Um, can we send you off to Syracuse? Oh, wait, does that mean the diplomat went bad? Political intrigue. Diplomat betrayed you. Or penalty to all income from trading. Oh, goody. Yeah, we'll send, send Spurious off. It's probably a bad idea to actually send... We're hoping to be our heir in case he gets killed. Fashion destroyed. Illyria. Oh, that was uh, who Tarkuna at war with. So they've completely wiped them out. Be careful. Be careful, Spurious. On your mission. Right, let's, for this research, click it through... I'm going to take 12 turns for that one, is it? Oh, it's because we've got the penalty, isn't it? Our diplomat. DL. Right. We can move in and attack you, but we'll bring in all of those forces. I mean, you're a... Tw you know, round things up. 20 stack, 10 stack. That's 30. It's 40 total. I mean, we'd have to bring up both armies to, to strike them, draw them all out and fight. Could be done, though, because we can bring Spurious up here as well. How can I be Wish I couldn't do more than just sabotage the supplies. What is the garrison like? And they're, just, they're just tribesmen, aren't they? Let's go for a big old battle. I don't know if you're... Actually, ooh, no, better idea. Better idea. Spurious goes in. Sieges the settlement. And then we wipe out the army outside. Yes. Who is going to pull back? But that's fine, we can now move on them. With Camillus. Oh, and he's going to run. You have nowhere to run now. We can order resolve you away. Goodbye. Um, yeah, release him. That general's still alive. That is doable. That's a nasty garrison, though. Axeman. Come out with... 20, we're only losing 29%. I think we'll probably lose more fighting it, but. Th thankfully, don't have any naked warriors. General's going to be pretty tough. We do have the Volsky Warriors. I know. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to go in. I'm going to fight it. Let's do it. Ooh, the map looks looks interesting. That's promising. Then. Yep, we'll start deployment. This is my uh, my kind of ruling for most most war games. Now I deploy. Sorry, although with sieges, I can you could uh, you could argue you could wait it out, but I think it's more fun to play under some of the different weather conditions sometimes rather than just uh, 
of waiting for just a dry day. So reinforcements are going to come through from here for Camillus. So he could strike this main gate and area. It's fine. From here he'll move... Oh, okay, Vic that's your Vic I think I actually might try and just push for the victory point. So you go there. If we keep them busy over this side, there's only one gate there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we've got ladders. We want you on the side there, but we're definitely going to want our strongest troops. Volsky warriors. Oh, wait, no, isn't the... Yeah, Aqua swords are stronger. We use the hoplites again to go for the gates. At your service. Ready and waiting. Fight hoplites. Yours to command. Italian cavalry. Spears. By your command. Oh. Yeah, so they've put most of their troops over here. Slingers, slingers, skirmishers, slingers, slingers, skirmishers. Okay, I'm going to try and harass those skirmishers then. Reinforcements have arrived. With my slingers, first of all. Pop them over there. I know they've got some ships coming in. Let's get our reinforcements in before we decide to move on the wall. Because I want this... I don't want these guys being super tired out by the time these guys get in for this section. My swordsman. No, there's another one down here. That's all of them. Spears, spears, centurier, hoplites, all that jeers. Slingers, and then javelins as well. Right. They're all walking, taking their time, so let's start the slinger out. Oh, they're hitting me with their slingers. Unless they could. Ah, oh, it's that range there. I'm just in range of them. Get back. I didn't see the range from these guys. Move, 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 move. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we've got to shuffle way more along so these guys can't help them out. That's it, put your slings away. Whew, just. They're putting these slingers, though, to counter us. So they know we're trying to go after these skirmishers. Who are you? Why did I group you in there? Young swords as well. Oh, don't go any further, you're gonna get hit. Time. Move over here, so you're out of the tower's range, please. We await your command. Slingers, take aim. Seriously, it's not working out well. You're well within range, guys. What are you doing? Pull you back, fire at will. Leave them to do it. Spears, ready. Spears. Yes, commander. Italian cavalry. Slingers. You guys are still getting hit by them. They're not taking any of them out. Pull them back. It's not working. As they brought these slingers up to help out. Can get you over this side and we'll attack these skirmishes instead. There's trouble speedy. Oh, hello. Just trying to flank us with your troops over here. Cavalry! Some cavalry to the beaches ready to deal. 
Most of my forces are slowly moving in. Once we're in, we're going to be fine. But it's getting to... It's getting past those slingers. Focus on these guys on the right. You go after the slingers quickly. Good, 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 because yeah, we don't want them to do too much damage. Because we've got through. You guys chase those slingers back. You guys hold there for a little bit longer, because I think you'll probably break them. Yeah, wavering already. You guys are shaken. Okay, we'll leave you in there. I know you're about to get rear charged. You guys quickly go through, take out those slingers. You guys can now pull back this way. Chase them down. There we go. Dealt with. Turn around. Strike them. Nice. That's them gone. Right, can you guys... Oh, they've swapped over slingers there as well. Clever girl. Clever girl. They're matching wherever I put my slingers, so okay. Can't can't do take them out that way. You guys are slowly moving in. Oh, Centurier, isn't it? It's so slow. Yeah, you guys run. Well, it's going to take forever. At least we've dealt with those guys outside the walls. Let's fast forward it, though. Until our forces get a bit closer. Then we'll move on in. Let's say, how many are they redeploying over this side? Some slingers out. And I felt like maybe we should push in then with these guys. So they don't send too many this way to help one out. But I think they're going to have them there anyway. Must be quite a few more that I can't see at the moment. I think I'm gonna wait and just do it in one big push actually. Just try and overwhelm them all in one go rather than send them in sort of wave by wave. Keep moving, just keep moving. Let's inspire as well to throw up, so that's good. Cavalry at the back, nearly all in play. Centurier, still fresh. Volsky warriors are active, but that's okay. We can make it work. Do it. Italian swordsmen. Cut them Go. I'm going to have to sacrifice these guys. Ready and waiting. Spears. Slingers. Understood. Spears. Light top retain. We just go really big with levies and slingers on their skirmishes. Hopefully that'll draw fire from these guys going in. Swords. Swords. Ready ready. Quick march. 
They're coming out. Okay. Charge them men then. I'll take AI silliness. Burn it, burn it, burn it. They don't have many. It doesn't look like they've got many over here, so we should just be able to pile on in. Moving up where there's, there's any hit from towers. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've got loads more here. That tower's moving up pretty unopposed though. Whatever you do, slingers, do not go up there. Gates are going. Swords. Ready, ready and waiting. We await your command. The men are wavering. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather them be the ones wavering. Ammunition. That's fine. Push, 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 push. Oh, on. Right, gates on fire. How are we doing over here? Pushing on up. Just sent all their slingers in, nice. That'll do. your way up. 
Oh yeah, they've got loads of them over here now. The enemy's gates have been destroyed. Nice. Go. Seems they've actually pulled too many troops away from over here now. In we go. Up we move. Have ready. They pulled units away. Got broken. Force them back. We've got a tougher fight here with Camillus' forces. They've pulled them all over this side. It's the axes I'm worried about. these guys over here. Nice. Right. Pull these guys over. Slam up there to try and capture the capture point, And then we slam into the back of them while they're pinned. Should. Get the siege down pretty, pretty sharpish. That's what I'm hoping. Go, go, go. Get him in the back. Break the young swords. And get my cab through here. That'd be quite useful. Take out some of those skirmishers. Push, 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 push. That's the thing. It's a slow grind up the steps while their missile troops just fire on down on us. Bring my cavalry over here. Get Camillus over. be fine. We go after all those slingers behind them. And javelins by the looks of things. Yep, they're javelins. Get them. Slaughter them. More cavalry coming. Push, 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 push. Get you guys up here. They're nearly broken and we can rear charge them. Line. Push, 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 push. Hey, you guys are off our wheel right now. Go into the axeman. Sweep him down, break him. Whatever you need to do to clear the path. Get up here. If we can ram these guys into the flanks. It's going to break that whole nest of them. Lovely jubbly, yep. Yeah. Broken. Yes. 
Go, go, go. We have captured the gates. Charging uphill against noble swords gonna be tough and a tower. Oh, they got spears over there. Take out that tower. Get round them. Hit him in the back. Charge them from the flanks. Burn it, burn it, burn it. And then we pull the cavalry back. Get it down. Then we can move up against these guys much easier. Go slammed on into them here. Push. Put that cavalry unit out as well. We could capture it rather than burning it down so it could hit that general. Do that. these goes off then you can all slam into these guys yeah that one's just folded right let's get all my troops in behind these guys massive charge finish them off and while you guys go around that way Let's just hold here. Italian cavalry. Let the tower do the damage onto the general. Italian swordsman. Beautiful.
Form up. Not that way, though. Charge. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Oh, what a slam. <laughs> Massive route. Full route. We've broken them. Oh, that was big. That was nice. Oh, yeah, they got they got hit hard. That shaken. We have captured the gates. We have. It's just got. Oh, they're still going down. That was a big charge. There we go. It was one thousand six hundred and thirty-one, but I'll take it. Plenty of kills with the swordsman. Two hundred and seventy. Down they go. They're pretty close to what we would have got with the uh, order resolve. Maybe about the same amount. Um, and we want to raise it, don't we? Noise. Okay, right. Let's get... Can we don't just... Yeah, convert you straight over. Likewise, convert you straight over. One of those. One of those. One of those. Millis, if you will be sort of hittable as such, but I don't think we've got to worry about that because their last settlement now is here. And then we'll complete that province. And in fact, our allies must take him on back. But if we grab that, then that will complete the objective. So we've got tricks of the trade. We've got all the centuria. So we'll get a massive amount of income possibly next turn. Uh, shots per minute, or should we go for your yeah, unrelenting force? Let's pop that in. Noise. That is that is good. They're moving on these guys over here. Yeah, they've been pushed back. Warriors of glory, come on. Ruskin League making some good progress as well, it would seem. We're okay over here. We've recruited everything we need. Um, so I guess, yeah, probably popping our forts over here because then we've got a good reaction to all the various settlements along here. We we'll maybe want to pull up to the provincial capital, Albafusens, so, so that we can move down to Hadra, if need be. Incomes take a hit. It's winter, and we have just finished recruiting all these guys, but that's okay because we are beginning the... 21 turn research towards getting an extra 3,500 income a turn. Hello. Um, how is that region over here that we're leaving to... Yeah, okay, about to rebel. So you'll spawn... So we need to... Uh, no, we probably need to destroy them this turn, I guess. Don't know if that'll give us any money or whatever, but... Throw it in. Why not? Deploy you there and end the turn. I am Horatius Reborn. I'm glad that you're Horatius Reborn. Rebellion? Yep. And Matt has been wounded and returned empty hand. Oh, god damn it, Spurious. Of course you would be wounded. Yeah, he's wounded. Thankfully, he was just wounded. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's not risk... That was a bad idea. Let's not risk him again. Um, let's send you guys off to... Oh, minus 40. Really? Oh, an expansionism. Let's try and keep them happy. Please. Don't mind if you, one of you guys gets wiped out. I think they're probably going to build up before they come for us. Oh, actually, by destroying... Oh, by destroying that, that's actually... Um, sorted things out. <laughs> it's given us a garrison of nine, but I'm sure they'll build up from there. Oh, so I need, do need to put something in here in case we do get slums. Okay, pop that in there. Didn't really want to do that. I imagine they're going to build more than four, so we'll get overrun. 
Unless these guys... No, we're not allied with them, are we? We could be. Senones, you've just got the last settlement, so let's complete this objective. The Roman army is a force to be reckoned. Their walls won't save them. They will not. Oh, that's going to give us so much money next turn. And our economy is dying right now because we've got that other army. That's okay. Uh, replenishment rate. Yeah, so I was looking at that covert action enables night battles. I kind of feel like maybe it'd be worthwhile popping a point in there. But I'm assuming max rank is 10. Kind of annoying. But extra point into logistics, at least level 2. Night battles, could do. Could do. Um, yes. Follow, single formation. And we're at war with the boy, aren't we? Can they reach us? They can. Okay, so I actually need to... It's because they... Oh, they might come straight in for me. Because of that... I'm going to move you here. So I don't want to get caught out. I don't even know that's going to wreck our public order. But is it still just because of the conquest for the turn, isn't it? Yeah. Should be sorted out next turn. Senna, uh, farming. What are we doing here? Wealth of agriculture, subsistence. Subsistence. Uh -huh. Wealth of industry, wealth of all commerce. That's what we want because we've got ports here. So we'll probably build up some good trading hubs. Yeah. Apart if the south is going to remain secure, then I probably should look at... Moving that army up, but Tara is surely doing a matter of time before it comes for us. So they've got a lot of territory over here, but then I don't know how much the Samnites have. They are defensive allies with the Fentani. They're all with Taurus and the Apollos as well. Now, as long as we keep that non aggression with them, we should be okay. We could think about bringing you guys up if we want, if we absolutely wanted to, and maybe bringing Spurious down. Send this one up and bring Spurious down to us. Then we've got to go this way, haven't we? We want to trespass through their lands. We have to go that way. Okay, begin, begin the process. If we need to turn him around and bring this way, we do. Um, we'll hold with Spurious. Bring that new army up, because we can always shuffle that new army over to Camillus and give his force over to his son, Lucius, that we're bringing on up. That sounds That sounds viable to me. Uh, VI, 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 Amphitheatre, we've got that one. That gives us the most from commerce, doesn't it? But minus eight public order. What's our public order? It's nine right now. We can always pop one of these in. We're going to go for that altar. No, we did that down here, didn't we? Or was I going to do that? And I never got around to it yet because it's our farming settlement. So, altar of Ceres down here. Cool, 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 cool. Righty toity. Um, end the turn and see if the boy How can I be come on in. They do. We should absolutely wreck them. They're not strong enough troops. They truly challenge us. Oh, we can. Oh, of course, edict. Uh, in fact, who controls this? It's all of ours. Okay. So, like how it's the other guy's got a province, and then I like sh 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 now. You've got your stuff. Um, okay, so if that's the case, we want version to Latin culture. Probably a good idea. Do that. In fact, what are we? What have we got our other regions to? Oh, we don't hold all of that one yet, of course. Uh, you guys are on tax. Rome, you're on public order, bread and games. We can definitely change that over to tax. AI, you're on loyalty, and I imagine yeah, you guys are on loyalty as well, because that's helping keep everything sorted. And, yep. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I speak with the voice of my people. 
You should carefully consider this offer. Uh, military chest. I mean, it would mean I could move up there quicker, but I've just started going the other way instead. So, going through Sabinia now would help foster better relations. But do I really want you going through? Much Who are you trying to go after? Your enemies are all to the south. No, decline for now. You don't need access to our lands. Moving in multiple armies on the Etruscans. Recent rank. Former spy. Lovely. Diplomat has been wounded. God damn it. Mission successful. We got all of the objectives. So a total of 1,300. Uh, 1,300. 13,700. Lovely. What's the next chapter? Construct the following building. The circus. Your thing, and we'll get 8,400. And what are the bonus objectives? Forge a defensive or military alliance with Veneti. That's fine. We've already got good relations with them, so we can build that up. And for a factory as well. Okie dokie. That is definitely doable, boss. And we've got plenty of money. Um, so you've been wounded. Ah, oh, yeah, you guys are right. Camillus has set up his own faction. So he can't be heir anymore. Nah, you guys are right. Can we... We can't ever pull him back, can we? Oh, good God. Why are you so upset? Is it just because you're so powerful? Oh, look at your helmet, though. That's glorious. It's because you're going to use him, aren't you, constantly to do stuff. So which region has he got? I'm assuming it's the new one. Yep. You guys warned me. Oh, he's got that one. That's currently being re that's currently rebelling. That we will lose. I'm not gonna plan on I'm not planning on holding on to it. Okay, okay. Well, he's 59, so he's surely gonna die soon. Well, let's declare air then. Oh, he's wounded. God, how many turns? Can I not declare? I can't declare him because it needs to be a bloodline. God damn. Um, what about, a, can you adopt? So I'm going to have to secure loyalty. Well, it's not, it's not firing off yet because I assume he's just split up now. Oh, God, that's a lot of money. But we do have quite a lot of um, money right now, so you know what? I don't want to risk it. Secure his loyalty. Dropped it down a smidge. Hero, oh dear. Okay. Just think he'd go off on his own considering I declared him air. Yeah, so you guys are right. You guys were right. Well, we'll take the challenge head on. Hope that we can keep him happy till he one day pops it. Or, obviously, we can't bring him back into the fold. So yeah, we just got to keep him happy. I assume it's because he's got so much gravitas. It does actually weaken our position a little bit, because we've now lost our strongest leader. So we've just been battling battle after battle with him. Okay, it'd be nice if there was a way to keep to pull him back. But okay then. Okay. Suicide. Not available to non-ruling party members yet. Won't do that. Even though he's still showing up. It's, why is he still showing up in our party then? Oh, excuse, no, sorry. He's showing up in our family, but our oh, help. He's a, another separate party leader. Okay, fine. Thanks for the uh, for that dice roll then, Rome. Spurious, let's get you fighting some of these guys to uh, better our gravitas. Out. 
or further your own. Uh, what can we do here? Send gift. Loyalty for target party. Do that. Wait for him not to be wounded. 55, yeah. How old have your Camillus's lasted in uh, your own Rise of Republic campaigns, guys? Let me know down in the comment section. We should make Spurious our next dictator then. I've not done any of those for ages. Oh, and we can't we can't choose um, Camillus now because it's going to be one of our own generals. That's fine. But they're not an option, is that? Because we have to have 50 more or career level of one or more. Got enough? Why can't we choose you? Yeah, I think I'm going to swap you over. So let's bring you down this way. And march you up here because we need to get you guys fighting then. To get your gravitas up. All right, we got a, we got a lot of money we should probably uh, throw in here and get some upgrades going. Um, let's get provincial capitals going. Not upgrade that any further. Sanitation growth, well, agriculture, product order. Throw that in. Um, it was the circus, wasn't it? It wanted. Yeah, so that's the, the next level. But we need this tech. We also need that for the Amphora kiln. Where is that? It's that one. Okay. Seven turns. But that's fine. We've got our own. We don't have to rush for that one. It's not after a certain number of provinces taken or anything. Um, Vei, though, I was. Got a port there, so let's pay tariffs. Yeah, throw that shop in. Altar of Jupiter. Yeah, go for that. Mining. Yeah, throw that in there. Get that going. Okie dokie. Right, end the turn. No. Character unassigned skill. Ah, cool. Leveled up again. Nice. Uh, reduce upkeep costs. Lovely. The gods themselves would not make you a better offer, my friend. So think carefully on my words here today. I'll accept that and then we'll follow up in our own turn for a, in diplomacy for a defensive alliance because that's what we need to get as a bonus objective, wasn't it? Spurious is back, ready to command. Good, so that means we can declare him our heir. So it goes from one Spurious to the next. Good. He's minus 11. He's got to be careful because I don't want to risk any of my good agents sort of improving relations with him. Do a favor. I'll grab start of the party member. Send gift. Loyalty. This catch part is too low. Okay. But still, yeah, not much risk. Um, but your colors are very similar to. Are you even on here? I'm not even sure they're on here. Yeah, we lost when when they came in. We lost a little bit of our standing because we lost 500 gravitas worth. Influence only three percent though. It's just him on his own with one region, which he's going to lose soon. I say if these rebels ever decide to actually attack us, but it actually seems like it's kind of taking care of itself for now. We are attritioning. I'm hoping because they they're running out of food because. That takes food from them, yeah, steals food away. I'm hoping that's what's going on. Diplomacy. 
you will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. Give tongue to your words, and I will answer. How friendly, okay. Maybe consider sending a diplomat to them, then. I can't demand that he does anything, because he's, yeah, party leader. Um, could send one of the wives. Can we actually, we'll send you. We'll send, uh, or how are the others doing? That's Familia. Okay, let's send one of you guys. That's it. Your only guy. Please don't screw up relations with them. Kind of need you to keep a good thing going here. Alright, let's get these armies on the move. Oh, they finally moved up there and claimed it all. Good. Yeah, so, oh, it's that one. Build a military defense. We've got plenty of time then. Got loads of money for doing it. Alright, we're about to do the Passover. Actually, we could retrofit Spurious' army a little bit, but we don't don't quite have the economy for it just yet. Uh, yeah, go on, upgrade that. Uh, what are we going to put in here? Food is pretty low, so maybe pop another villa in. Let's go for that. At least gives it a little bit of income as well. Swap you over, and then you'll soon be up supporting Camillus. Oh, you know it. Right, let's go for one more intern, and then I think we'll wrap things up for today's episode at our hour special. So a uh, unforeseen series of events. Well, unforeseen by me, but some of you guys that have been warning me about uh, Camillus potentially breaking off. I just didn't feel it was fair to Spurious just to slay him in cold blood. So... We'll see what we can do. For one of the younger peoples, you show great promise. Would you consider future cooperation? Not on a defensive alliance, because I don't know what you're about to drag me into. So, decline. No. Rather you didn't. You did not return, accompanied by a famous scholar. Increased research rates for civil technology tree. Oh, damn. We're doing military research. But that's still fine. Raid and pillage, and we're now researching... Spolia Opima. Oh, that's, we had to research that for an objective a while back, didn't we? Ah, well, there you go. What's war? 16 turns remain on that one. So hopefully that's improved our relations with them. Um, ooh, yes, nice little bit. In our good name, be welcome and... It's going to be doable, though. So hopefully we keep improving relations with them and we'll be all good. So how are things looking over here? They're still not moving in. 16... I think they'd go in soon. But, I mean, it's sorting out the public order there nicely. But I kind of wonder, if we lose if we lose that territory, does that mean, though, that Camillus might just take over or influence another region that we've gained and actually become stronger? Still zero risk, minus 11. We should be fine. Fine. Just got to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on ya. If not, well... I uh, don't really know what we can do. Not available to actually assassinate. He was the only one that we could assassinate. Oh, hang on. Can't assassinate him because insufficient cunning because he has ten. And uh, we can't take his because he's got nine. Okay. Right. So yeah, we can't really do anything about him. He's there to stay. We just have to hope that we can, yeah, pacify him, make him align with uh, what the House of Furia wants to do. And then when he dies, and Spurious dies, hopefully uh, Spurious the Second or Spurious Camillus, is uh, more agreeable with uh, what we have in store. But anyway, as we're going to wrap things up for now, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take part and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.